Portland is a beautiful city and always has been. Brian Knobloch talked with author John Moon at the Portland Public Library about his new book, City by the Sea, which shows the city as it was in the past and as it is today. John, before we start talking about the book, let's talk about a little bit about your background, your background here in Portland and your background uh, professionally. Yeah, sure. I uh, grew up in Portland. I went to Portland schools from grammar school all the way up through Portland High School. and. Uh, then I went to the University of Maine, and upon graduating from college, I took a job with General Electric Company and uh, basically had a career in finance, corporate finance, uh, for about 25 years with GE and Lockheed Martin. And uh, there was a sellout along the way, and I became a Lockheed employee. But I actually retired from Lockheed uh, a few years ago, and now here I am back in my hometown. And your, writing family's books. Here, and your family's here a long time as well. Oh, yes, yeah. I have roots going back to my grandma came over uh, uh, from Scotland uh, via Ellis Island in 1922, I believe. And my mother was born here in Portland in 1932. And we have roots going back quite a ways. It's my hometown. When did you start working with photography? I've sort of always been interested in photography. It's been a, a sort of a hobby of mine, I guess. I always like taking pictures, and uh, the neat thing about my new book is it gives me a chance to combine my interest in history and my interest in taking pictures. Let's talk about the new book for a, a bit. Uh, what's the premise of the book? How is it laid out? Well, the, the uh, premise of the book is on the left-hand side is a black-and-white picture of Portland, an old picture of Portland from the archives, and opposite on the facing page is a color picture a present-day picture of the same scene that I, that I took with my camera so that you can see side by side the changes that have occurred over a hundred years, basically. Where did you get the historic images from? Where did I get the images from? I got them from various sources. Many came from uh, the wonderful collection at Maine Historical Society. Uh, some came from the collection in Augusta at the Maine Historic Preservation Commission that Earl Shuttleworth runs. And some came from private sources, and I had some. And it was tough to sort through all of those to find the ones that you want to select and, and put in the book. Well, let's talk about that for a little bit. What sort of criteria did you use to pick, uh, out of all the pictures, there must be thousands of, of pictures yeah. of Portland. How did you choose the one that you, that you for the very, book? Very difficult process, but my thinking was this. I wanted ones that were visually interesting to me, uh, ones that had uh, maybe some architectural history to them, and ones that obviously uh, were taking, uh, taken of buildings that still exist today, because that's the premise of the book. It's kind of a then and now book, so obviously I had to have pictures that I could go and, and duplicate today. But I wanted ones that were of interest to me and that I thought would be of general interest to the public. Did you find it difficult to find the, the location of a building so that you could take the current photograph? In most cases, yes, I did. But there were several. There were several. It's interesting that I would come across a photograph that I absolutely fell in love with. I said, this is a great photograph. And you're looking through these files, and it would say, unidentified street in Portland. So there was quite a bit of detective work in some of these photographs to find out what you were actually looking at. And there's a whole story that goes along with each one of the photographs, probably. That, so it was not often easy because some were unidentified, and I had to do some my own detective work. What did you discover going through this process about the changes in Portland and the similarities in Portland between the old photographs and today? I discovered a lot. One thing that uh, it just rings out uh, from talking with lots and lots of people who have seen my book, you ask them the question, which do you prefer, the Portland of yesteryear or the Portland of today? And almost everyone says they like the way Portland used to be. I mean, it must have been you know, 100 years ago, let's say around 1900, at the turn of the century, it must have been a, a very beautiful city. We had these gorgeous elm trees all over town and magnificent uh, architecture, beautiful buildings. Uh, it was a beautiful city and still is, of course, to this day. There are a lot of buildings that were in those photographs that still exist today, as you said. Uh, is that a sort of a testament to Portland's desire to preserve its past? Uh, you know, everybody talks about Union Station, the tragedy of losing Union Station. 
uh, and it was a tragedy. But the flip side of that coin, which I think uh, speaks to your question, is that really woke everybody up for the first time and created a sort of preservation mentality amongst the general public where we have saved a lot of buildings. So uh, we live in a very unique city where you can still walk the streets of the, t the city today and see buildings that were built 150, 200 years ago. So it's, it's, it's a great city in that sense. What's your next project? I've got several on the back burner. One, uh, very important to me, I'm working on a memoir of my own life uh, growing up in Portland, the first 18 years of my life. What it was like to be uh, a baby boomer, I'm a, in the baby boom generation growing up in Portland, Maine. Uh, that should be an interesting thing. And uh, another book I'd like to do if I can find the time, is a book on the shipyards from World War II that were here over across the, the river. We built all those magnificent Liberty ships. Uh, there's, a, there's a big story there, and there's some wonderful photographs that exist that I think uh, would make a great book. Sounds like you have a love affair with the city. I do. It's a great place, and uh, I think anybody that likes Portland will love my book because it brings back a lot of memories.